Hi guys, let's address the elephant in the room. This is my hand. You'll be seeing a lot of this hand. So I have this redness um, here. I thought it was some type of a rash because I've been doing a lot of cleaning lately and I hate wearing gloves when I clean. So I thought I got a rash and then I saw my sister last week, actually last weekend, and she told me that I might like have inflamed tissue and that I should see a doctor and I don't really want to go to a doctor because of something like this even though she told me this could get complicated if it goes unchecked and then I went to the internet and self-diagnosed myself and it turns out I have arthritis so just let's let's just put it here I told you that I am aware of how ugly this looks on my hand uh, I think that I will I will just give it a few more days maybe it really is some type of a rash or a bad skin reaction to something and if it does not get better I will see a doctor also it's starting to hurt like in the first few days it didn't but now like when I kind of touch it it does hurt so I really am acting irresponsibly about this but hey so the thing that we will actually be doing today is putting on makeup uh, I have not actively, let's say, put on makeup in a few years. I maybe put on makeup for some special event or if I'm going out and I just want to uh, have some makeup on, but it usually looks like shit uh, because my skin uh, has been suffering for the last few years. So during my college years, my uh, issues with hormones got worse. So I have issues with my, I'm probably not pronouncing this correctly, I'm sorry, my thyroid. I'll put the word here uh, so I have uh, issues with that I actually inherited it from my mother uh, and when my hormones started like going crazy uh, my skin decided to follow I developed acne my whole chin like this bottom part used to be very inflamed sometimes to the points where I actually felt physical pain while I was speaking because my skin was so dry and inflamed it was it was a whole ordeal and that's the reason why I decided to like completely drop makeup or anything that could be harmful to my skin and I focus more on uh, skincare in the past year I really developed my own um, some type of a personalized skincare routine that really suits my needs i can see that my skin is improving i've been also uh, looking after my you know health uh, the way i eat what i eat and stuff like that so it uh, really has improved lately and i started to have this desire to actually refresh my uh, makeup abilities i used to uh, before um, the whole thing with my hormones, I used to put on makeup, I loved makeup, I would also do my nails and stuff like that. I was a girly girl when it came to that and it really took me a lot of effort to actually feel comfortable with leaving my house without any makeup on. I mean, we can have a very long discussion about all of the pressure girls feel when it comes to our appearance and also the like unattainable ideal of perfect skin perfect skin does not exist it's a fucking filter on instagram so i did suffer a lot in the first few years but when i got comfortable leaving my house without makeup and going out without makeup uh, it was just a whole new level of self-esteem self-respect for myself for my skin I'm, I'm just, I'm, I am babbling, I am babbling, let's uh, get started. So, I will not go like into reviews of these items, I will actually have a chit chat with you while I'm trying to do my makeup. Um, the reason why I'm not going to talk a lot about these uh, makeup items that I purchased is because I know nothing of these brands, they were on sale, this is the only criteria why I bought this, because it was on sale, because... I honestly, I, I, have, I have projects, this is my form of living, I start having projects, like my February project was starting to work out and it's going great so far, and now I want to do makeup and stuff like that, so I'm not sure how long I will have this desire to actually improve my makeup skills, so I didn't want to waste a lot of money on this, and so I bought everything on sale. 
The only thing that I actually bought that was not on any type of sale, I uh, bought it because I saw a lot of YouTubers and beauty influencers praising this um, foundation. It's this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation uh, because allegedly, again, I am uh, I'm just paraphrasing what I heard about this, uh, it's good for oily skin and during the summer my skin gets oily. Uh, so I decided to uh, buy this one. If I sometimes refer to this as powder and not foundation, it's because I'm Croatian, which rhymes also. Uh, so in Croatia, let me teach you some Croatian. In Croatia, we call this puder. So it like puder powder, but it's actually foundation in English and puder in Croatian. Here, this is your first creation word that I'm teaching you. Maybe maybe I should like do a segment in every video that I teach you one creation word or like some creation phrases. I think that would be fun. Let me know down in the comments. So I am talking very fast. I had my morning coffee. I had to. Uh, anyway, the next thing is this. Uh, so I like the colors. That's the criteria for me buying this. What else? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so this, this is a primer. To be honest, even when I used to do makeup like on a regular basis, I never understood the meaning of a primer, but this is allegedly very good. I am just being sold shit because I'm an idiot who does not understand any of this. So I, I, I bought a primer, it's pretty, it's pink, it's called Unicorn Tears, that's adorable. Uh, I, I actually have two mascaras. So the reason why I have two mascaras is because uh, the site where I was buying had like a mystery box giveaway. So they were uh, like giving them away for free. So I of course uh, got the mystery bag as well. So I got one um, mascara there and I actually bought one. So that was a waste of money. And also in that mystery box, I got this. So this is a smoky edition Go Nude palette. So here it is, like this. I have a brush. Like I think that you can see that I am really like f sitting down and filming this without actually attempting to do my makeup before this by the fact that this still has like the protection on the brush is still in this plastic little thingy so yes this will be fun I will probably fail but let's fail together okay let's start first things first I'm tying my hair because I cannot work with my hair being all in my face. The reason why I'm looking down is because I actually have a mirror down here because of course I'm putting on makeup, I need a mirror, I don't want to look in the viewfinder of my camera and let the circus uh, begin. What I wanted to talk to you about is something that when women discuss it, sometimes it can be viewed as controversial. I want to talk to you about money. I was very financially stupid last month. I've literally never used any of this. Mm. I was very financially stupid last month, as I was saying, and I was actually disappointed at how much money I spent. This is the first time in a very long time that I actually am waiting for my next paycheck and I'm nearly broke. I've been financially irresponsible. Like, I've just been spending my money on dumb shit that I don't need. I mean, sometimes I do need something uh, but yes I just feel like I've I fucked up this month and I was just checking my credit card statement and I was just like why am I broke Monday is payday this month and why don't I have any fucking money and then I just stopped to think like I know nothing about money and finances. Honestly, the only like, let's say, money principle I apply to my life is the 10%. So I put aside 10% of my monthly income and I don't touch it. Like, I that's, that's my savings, let's say. And the rest, you know, I mean, I am... Uh, I'm not a mother, I'm not married. I'm just clearly living for myself. The only person spending my money is me. 
and I could save a lot more but I am an idiot when it comes to buying stuff. I love buying new clothes every single month. Like this whole pandemic was just an excuse for me to buy clothes, to be ready for when things open up. And um, coffee shops in Croatia have been opening up and bars, but in a way that uh, they only open up the like terrace of the coffee shop, so nobody is actually in closed space and it's fucking cold outside, so there is no fucking chance in hell I will be sitting on a cold terrace of a coffee shop. So I've actually not been going anywhere. And I am still purchasing clothes. Also, I need to unsubscribe from every single fucking newsletter that I get because it was International Woman, uh, like International Women's Day, and like the brands I usually buy from House Brand uh, and Reserved, and so on. Oh my God, we have free delivery. Oh my God, we have twenty percent off. And of course, I went and I bought something. Like it wasn't a lot. I bought a shirt. I bought. A nice little dress. I also got uh, I got a pair of sweatpants and that's something I actually was on the market for. I just wanted a really good pair of sweatpants. So I got that. I got some underwear and shit like that. Anyways, yes, I have been very reckless with money, which has made me bring some very weird decisions i cannot speak and do this do i look hilarious to you because i i feel funny because i don't know if i'm doing this correctly i think that i i like i got my foundation right but i don't know if this looks okay you who are more makeup savvy you can tell me down in the comments if i'm making an idiot out of myself okay i'm going to finish this and then i'm going to tell you all about my new decisions. Are we going to address the fact that I did not put on that primer? So I, I'm i not taking this off in order to put on the primer and then put on the foundation again. No chance in hell. I'm not that girl. I don't care that much. Let me tell you about what we were talking about. So money. Uh, I decided that I need to do better when it comes to like spending money and you know managing money and I would just like to address the fact that school does not teach you anything about anything when it comes to finances and uh, spending money and taxes because I mean kids spend most of their days in school and then they come home and they have to do their workout they have some extracurricular extracurricular activities and school doesn't teach them important things such as taxes. It's hilarious. But anyways, that's besides the point. So I decided to do an Excel spreadsheet to, let's say, see how much money I get. I mean, how big my paycheck is and then see like what are my expenses and try to limit. Actually, I'm trying to limit my spending with the goal of paying off my camera by July. So I would like to pay the whole, uh, the, like all of the installments by July. And I don't know if I will be very successful at this. The reason why I actually want to pay off the installments for my camera is because I ordered something else. And I also decided to pay it in installments because I did not, I mean, I actually have savings and I could have paid that thing off immediately, but I didn't want to touch my savings. So I have this goal and I like in this Excel sp spreadsheet, I, I'm i constantly saying Excel spreadsheet, like Excel spreadsheet. In this Excel spreadsheet, I actually wrote down uh, the first like, the first part is the things I have to pay. So, you know, bills. And then after that, I took a look at the things I'm paying off in installments, so my camera and how much that is monthly. Uh, after that, I think I placed like stuff that are also being paid on a monthly basis. So I have a subscription to Skillshare and I also have HBO. Uh, I am stealing Netflix from my boyfriend. And um, what was next? Uh, just give me a... 
Uh, yes, I um, I've been trying to eat healthier because I um, put on some weight in January and also I have issues with my digestion. Let's not talk about that. So I've been trying to eat better and I've been spending a lot of money on food and I started to cook. So I've been spending a lot of money on experimenting with cooking and I decided to limit that uh, amount of money I spend on food per week. I've completely kicked out any type of deliveries like uh, I am not ordering food like I'm just I'm just not ordering food so that's like that's like pretty much it and then of course I uh, wrote down how much I put in my savings so the 10% of uh, my monthly income goes to my savings and after that I saw like the sum of money that is left my paycheck is pretty much the same month for month sometimes it variates a little bit uh, and the thing is I saw like at the sum that remained and I was just like where the fuck did I spend this last month what did I buy and then I went through my credit card statements and like all of the deliveries that came why am I like this why am I like this <sighs> I uh, yeah I said I'm going to do makeup in this video so anyways <clears throat> I decided to be more financially responsible and I have an Excel spreadsheet spread <laughs> Excel spreadsheet now and I hope I will be able to stick to it so I have this amount of money that I would like to put aside so I would have like uh, that Okay, that aside, so uh, as I was saying, I um, have this like sum of money I would like to put aside uh, this month and the next month and then I think I will be able to like pay off the camera uh, completely because honestly installments are not for me. Uh, I was thinking also about getting an apartment before Corona. Uh, and when I started thinking about, you know, bank loans and stuff like that, it's not for me. I don't know why I feel so bad when it comes to paying off something in installments. Like this camera is like the dark spot on my credit card. I hate having something that I have to pay off in installments. I am very disappointed in myself about being nearly broke and my paycheck is due on Monday. I know I'm going to post this on Friday, but let's just say that I'm filming this on a Sunday. Like. So, uh, anyways, that's it. I don't know why people feel weird when it comes to talking about money. I'm just going to start applying something. Um, especially like if women talk about money, they are perceived as being, let's say, materialistic and just caring about money, being gold diggers. And that's not really the case. I think that people should talk about money more because it's a very essential part of our lives. I really should have watched a tutorial or something before starting this. Um, okay, let's take some of this. I don't know what I am doing. Mm. Okay, let's say that's <clears throat> terrifyingly bad. Look at me being a beauty influencer. <laughs> Just kidding. Um what next maybe maybe you know maybe some glitter because that's always a good idea when you don't know how to do makeup some glitter and my days are pretty much the same i wake up in the morning i do my job i mostly do i mostly work you know in the morning and after that i have my workout i read i started to read a lot again and um you know i cook i eat i maybe watch something on netflix currently i'm not like watching any show so if you have any type of um, suggestion leave it down in the comments let me know and yes i have been feeling very 
underwhelmed by my life. It's very boring. And then when I thought about, mm, I could do like a vlog of what I do like across a few days and then I realized how painfully boring my life is and that I do the same fucking thing every single day. But there's nothing to do, let's be honest. The only thing I'm very uh, happy about is actually developing like my... Um, uh, my uh, workout routine, that's exciting. But other than that, I I haven't done anything worth mentioning. I haven't done anything worth mentioning. Mm, I don't know what else to put on. It all just looks bad. Mm, mm -hmm. Maybe I should stop, maybe I shouldn't. I think that the next attempting to do makeup will come after watching several tutorials because I have no idea what I'm doing. But let's put some like makeup under my eye because I saw people do that on the internet. That's where I get all of my news and how to's. Is this the correct brush to do this? I don't know. It probably isn't. Also, this is one thing that baffles me about makeup brushes like how many more brushes do you need? I could do everything with one and that's why I'm bad at makeup. Let's put on some like lip gloss or whatever to make the look kind of done because let's be honest, I did not put on highlight because that, that scares me. Highlight and contouring scares me. I'm done and also this whole process has been infuriating because I don't know what I'm doing. I should have, I should have watched uh, a tutorial or some shit like that. Like let's let's put my hair down because I don't like to have it tight. This was a fail, but you know what? In the sea of people doing their makeup perfectly, you sometimes need to be reminded that the rest of us suck at it. I mean, I haven't done it in years. So I'm going to use that excuse. Uh, so yes, guys, I'm glad we had this little talk about random stuff, money, me being financially irresponsible. Uh, I hope you had fun. I'm really having fun with regularly uploading. I mean, this is my second week of uploading. Uh, usually the like time from my first to my second video was a few months. So this is an achievement for me. Down in the description below, you can find the link to my blog, the link to the poetry bar if you're into reading and writing poetry, as well as the links to some of the articles I think you would maybe like to read. I mean, my article slash essays that I post um, online uh, on my blog. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave it a thumbs up. Give me your makeup recommendation down in the comments. Give me some beauty gurus that have like very step-by-step -step easy to follow tutorials because my attention time span is uh, so leave that down in the comments let me know if you have any video ideas for me and of course subscribe because that would be nice okay have a lovely day guys